Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Cameron here at Bud Chevrolet, just with a little tech tip here. A great question for you, uh, for everybody always asks us is, how do I set up my Android Auto or Apple CarPlay? So here's a quick video we're gonna show for you today. Today I got the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, Android I'll show in a second video here shortly, as there is a few more steps to set up Android compared to Apple. So very first step you're gonna need is you're going to need a factory cable. Now I do say factory cable. You can use aftermarket cables, but be warned, not all aftermarket aftermarket cables will work. It does sound crazy, but if it doesn't work for you on your first try, try to get a proper cable, um, proper lightning cable or proper um, mini USB cable because not all of them will transfer the data. First thing we're going to do is today we're in the 2018 GMC Yukon, but this does work in pretty much all GM vehicles all in the same way. You're going to look for your USB ports that'll be at the front of the vehicle or inside your uh, main glove box. The ones that are in the back seat or in the trunk will not be able to connect to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, but the front ones you simply just plug in your USB cable into the USB port. And then you are simply going to connect your lightning cable or mini USB to that you will get a notice on your screen right away there Let's see if i can get a closer footed picture for you here just with apple carplay allowing for third-party apps and everything to function on the vehicle if you don't want apple carplay to turn on every time you plug in your phone you are able to disable apple carplay and you won't have this message every time all you simply have to do is hit continue and it will keep and it will start loading now, if you give this a second here, you'll see your phone will turn on. Um, you will ask for your passcode for your phone. And then you'll notice on the screen that the projection icon has now switched to an Apple CarPlay icon. By simply touching that Apple, it will tell you to unlock your smartphone. You unlock your smartphone and then it will automatically pull up your main screen for Apple CarPlay. Very simple, very easy to use. So let's take a closer look at exactly what Apple CarPlay does. All right, so now we've unlocked our phones. Now you will notice on the display here on your phone, when you do unlock it, it will say allow CarPlay to work with IntelliLink or um, any of the other radios which you may be using, whether it's Chevrolet or Cadillac or Buick. Um, you will have to allow it to access the phone while the phone is still locked. So to do this, you're just gonna hit allow on your phone. Now on your main display, you will notice here that you have your Apple CarPlay. It looks like an older version of the Apple screen. You have your phone you have your music your apple maps your messages now playing for um, your current music any podcast you have saved google play music and spotify they are constantly updating it with different apps now to get the apps on the radio all you have to do is download them on your phone now not every single app is works no you're not going to be able to play um, angry birds on the dash of your vehicle but it does work with most other of your apps now one thing to remember when you do hook up your android auto or apple carplay and you plug your phone in it will deactivate your bluetooth reason being is inside your phone here it is now connected through um, apple carplay so you don't need it on bluetooth so don't be alarmed when you see a uh, bluetooth disconnected screen on there you will get your time your signal connection your battery life you do also have your home button right in the bottom here to go back there another really cool feature you can use with your apple carplay if you go to your steering wheel and you hold down your voice command button Hey Siri, how are you doing today? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. That's right. Siri is right inside your vehicle. You can ask her all the same questions you could while it's on your device. If you're using Google, your Google Assistant will turn on. Um, you'll be able to use all of your smart home features if you have them connected. Um, if your garage door is paired or anything like that, you can use them right through your device while you're in your vehicle without having to touch your phone and risking getting a large ticket. So as I said, I'm going to be making another video here shortly just about how Android Auto works. Very similar process, but there are a few extra steps. Um, so we'll be sure to walk through that. If you should have any questions, give us a call. Again, my name is Cameron at Bud Chevrolet, 905-845-1681. Thanks very much, and we'll talk to you then. Bye for now.